Man is the living temple. Initially, the philosophy of the life and God could be studied only with the help of the human body. Temple structures were built after that. The feet represent the main entrance of the temple, the Gopuram. Idakale and Pingalai started the feet. One is able to walk only with the help of the feet. Though the Gopuram does not house the deity, it occupies a crucial position in the temple architecture. The pelvic region is the Balipitam, the sacrificial platform. The earthly desires which arise here must be sublimated. If done so, wisdom or jnanam rises in strength as denoted by the jvajasthamba or flagpole as represented by the navel. After this point comes the chest portion. In many temples of Shiva, you can see two nandis, the holy bull, in a sitting posture. In temples from Tirunallar to Tirumarekkadu, you can see one nandi standing, symbolizing the varied movements of the prana shakti or life force. There are seven temples, otherwise known as Saptavidanga Stalam. But these variations and vibrations can be felt and understood only after the mundane and sexual desires are conquered. Then the life force, as represented by the nandi, stands up in Visuddhi Chakra. Then the venom is removed and you have the darshan of the Divine Supreme. This universe and these planets exert their influence on the beings living on earth, causing ups and downs in fortunes. It is only possible for the human being to regulate these changes so that life is balanced. But this has to be done by every individual for himself. We surrender at the holy feet of Tirumular. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya